So the latest information we have now is that a one-metre tsunami has come ashore on the coast of Miyagi Prefecture, which is exactly the same area that was hit very badly back in March 2011. Uh, the uh, tsunami hit close to a place called Ishinomaki, which was almost totally destroyed in the 2011 earthquake. Uh, there are no reports at the moment of any damage. Uh, of course, a one-metre tsunami is much, much smaller than the one that hit back in 2011, which was between 10 and 11 metres. Uh, but it's still, you know, big enough uh, to cause flooding and potentially cause damage. And Rupert, a concern, of course, for many Japanese citizens will be nuclear safety because the meltdown at that plant uh, last year is very raw in everyone's memory. It is, and it's interesting that the company that runs the Fukushima nuclear plant, uh, Tokyo Electric, has been very, very quick this evening to put out a statement saying that the plant is unaffected by the tsunami or the earthquake and that work there to stabilise the reactors after they melted down uh, is going on as, as normal and that it hasn't been stopped by this event. Uh, what reports of any damage or casualties? So at the moment, there are no reports of either, uh, but there are large parts of the northeast coast of Japan, which, because immediately after the earthquake struck this evening, uh, they began evacuating from. And Rupert, did you feel it? Oh, yes, we felt it here very much, this whole building. We're on the 19th floor here, and the whole building shook quite violently for, you know, about 30 seconds to a minute. It was, it was a very, very noticeable event here in Tokyo as well.